I'm sorry, but a black person who is light skinned saying, please do not call me light skinned. I do not want to be one of them. Hilarious. A dark skinned black person telling me that they don't want to be called dark skinned though. Mm, sounds like we got some unpacking to do. I don't know. It's not the same. <laughs> Have you ever been to biracial TikTok? What about light skin TikTok? And yes, in 2023, those places do exist. I'm not sure why, but lately my FYP has me all up in the biracial business. Now, while I do love to sip tea in my spare time, I can't help but think that TikTok must feel I belong in this subgenre of TikTok because I am, in fact, light skin. Just even saying light skin just makes me cringe. And although I identify as an ebony goddess, and you will refer to me as such, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to explain to you why being light skin is not the flex that you think it is. But before we get into that, make sure that you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can be notified of more videos like this. My name is Tandy, now let's get into it. This is really interesting because this comment assumes that being black and mixed are mutually exclusive, meaning that you can't be both. I am quite obviously black. I don't think that needs a further explanation. And like most African-Americans, both of my parents have mixed race ancestry. My mom more so than my dad. She's actually from one of the first mixed race families in America. If you're interested, Google the Proctor family from Southern Maryland. So yes, I'm black. And yes, I have mixed race ancestry. Listen, this video resonates with me on a personal level because I cannot tell you how many times I get asked, so what do you mix with? First of all, back up, okay? calm down because who said i was mixed i feel like in 2023 people should know that being black is not a monolith like just because someone is light skin doesn't mean that they aren't black and another thing that boggles my mind is that people will literally ask me oh are you mixed and i tell them no i'm actually just black you know and they'll say no but for real what do you mix with so you gonna ask me what my ethnicity is and then when i tell you my ethnicity you gonna tell me that i'm lying so then what the heck was the point of you even asking me? You feel me? So I really think it's important that we disregard the ignorant notion that in order to be black, you have to be of darker complexion, as well as the notion that if you're light skinned, then you must be mixed with something because that's just, again, super ignorant. Literally in 2023, somebody dead ass asked her this question, black question mark, like, she just told you what she is and you still questioning her or trying to disregard what she just told you? Y'all, I don't understand these people. Okay, the internet be internet. That's all I can say. Let's check out another video. There's no shade to my biracials, but I'm not one of y'all. Both my parents are black. We just light skin. So yeah, I may experience light skin privilege with y'all, but I do not know the struggle of growing up half white, half black. I don't have a white side of the family. Everybody in my family black, sorry. No, but for real though, hate to burst your bubble or hate to be not what you expected me to be. But because again, being black is not a monolith. It's so crazy to some people to fathom the idea that you can have a black Hispanic, you can have a black American. The diaspora is large, right? It's a diaspora, right? But there is one thing that I want to address in this video that this creator made. And that's the fact that she called herself light skin. First of all, Again, we're gonna talk diaspora, right? Because within the black community, there's already this tension between dark skins and light skins. And I just find that using such terms is not beneficial to anybody or the community as a whole because it further just promotes some kind of division within the community when we really should all be in unison. So that's my only critique on that video right there. Let's not do light skin, dark skin because that could be a whole another topic for another day about why that feeds into white supremacy, but we won't go there in this video. <laughs> So all in all, like just personally, I don't like to use those types of terms because there are literal weirdos out here who use those terms as a sense of identity. Check this video out. Sorry, not everybody fits in the bad bitch genre. It's a genre. Hi, to my knowledge that video has been deleted, but I just wanted to make it very clear from one light skin to another, nobody gives a light skin. In fact, all that means is that white people find you more palatable because of your proximity to whiteness. And if that is the thing you take pride in yourself, your proximity to whiteness, you must not have much else to offer the world. And that's sad. 
I'm gonna quote a TikTok that I saw the other day. You're skating by in society based off of a paper bag test and some loose curls. Do better. Points were made, okay? We cannot argue that. Points were made. I feel like these type of people who use being light-skinned as a personality trait, I feel like they deserve to be red for filth just a little bit more, you know, just extra sprinkle in there for them, okay? So check out this video. It says, another day being light-skinned with curly hair. It's getting tiring being God's favorite. Jesus Christ. When I'm on her At this point, y'all gotta be doing this on purpose. It's no way in the world that you live under a rock and you didn't know that that type of video was gonna be met with backlash. It's no way you ain't know. And then girls like think like this, I'm convinced that y'all have literally nothing else to offer because the only thing you ever brag about is being light skinned and having curly hair. Okay, anything else? Anything else, please. No, but for real though, like do you happen to have any other personality trait? Like, are you kind? Are you smart? Are you funny? No, you're just light-skinned? Oh, okay. Oh, you got curly hair too? Oh, wow, I really want to be your friend now. Like, get out of here with that. Miss me with that. I cannot stand people like that. Oh my gosh. Comment down below if you know somebody like that who being light-skinned and having curly hair is a personality trait for them. Like, how they physically look is their personality. I think it's rather depressing that all you have to offer is your looks. What happened to the days of being able to hold good conversation, you know, having, you know, a little bit of wit, being funny? People literally don't have personalities anymore and it's rather sad. I literally went on a date with somebody, you guys, recently and when I tell you that this guy had absolutely nothing to say. I'm sitting here trying to like pull a conversation out of him. But then he's also like sitting there at the same time, like scrolling, looking at his likes. And then I was like, oh yeah, I saw that picture. Like you looked really good in that. And he's like, yeah. Sir, calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Like, I need you to come back down to earth with the rest of us. Do better, okay? Do better. Like, at some point in life, you just have to learn the power of discernment. I mean, your life can't be that good just because you're light-skinned, right? Okay, so this says, as a light-skinned, we know we everyone's type. And she's over here hyping herself up in the video. Okay, out again. Please put the bitches on a leash. We can't afford this damn Black History Month. No, because let's talk about it. Because growing up, I was literally told that I was better than these dark-skinned girls just because my skin color was lighter. Especially growing up in a predominantly white area and having African family members only made this ideology in my head worse. Me and my sisters were literally told by our aunts and uncles that were African that we were much prettier than our darker skinned cousins. So growing up, that made me never want to go to the pool, never want to go to the beach because I thought that if I got darker, that means I got uglier. Also, growing up around white people, they would always ask me, are you sure you're full black? You're so exotic, like your skin color. There's no way you could possibly be fully black. And my mindset only changed after I started educating myself on racism, colorism, how it plays in our society. To this day, I know other light-skinned women that would be like, oh, I can definitely get him because he dated a dark-skinned girl, thinking that like just because she's dark-skinned, even though she's drop-dead gorgeous, that she's uglier. Like, do better. Light skin does not mean you're prettier. T, okay? I always believe people's truths when they describe stories like this from, you know, their own personal experience. But personally, I just did not have that upbringing. I didn't have that same experience as someone who is more fair complexion black person. Like, I did not have that experience at all until I moved to the South. When I moved down South, yo, it was crazy. Like, I still to this day will get people who will come up to me, talk to me, you know, make conversation, and then they'll end it with, or start it off with even. You got a nice complexion. What? Are you serious? I have a nice complexion? And I can only think that maybe they thought that that was a compliment, but y'all know the theme of this video, okay? It's not the flex that you think it is, okay? Do not go up to people and say, oh, you've got a nice complexion. That just sounds so rooted in colorism. It's just disgusting to even hear especially for someone who again has the power of discernment like myself i feel i am immediately turned off like i don't even want to continue the conversation because ew so what's not a good complexion because i thought all complexions were good what are you saying 
<laughs> and you know what the craziest part, y'all? Why I say it's colorism is because it comes from typically other black people. That's the tea. Now I do get it, the same statement told to me by people from all backgrounds, all ethnicities, but most of the time it's coming from black people. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger, okay? So like personally, I haven't had this experience that this creator has said where people kind of, you know, gassed my head up to thinking that I was better than other people because of my lighter complexion, but I can definitely understand why somebody would be gassed up and develop this grandiose sense of self-esteem. The light-skinned women are, they have, they develop superiority complexes. Is it true that some light-skinned women have a superiority complex? Absolutely. They've been gassed up so much that they absolutely do think that them being light-skinned makes them a better woman, right? Just by default. But the reason why this conversation is not fair is because it's not only limited to light skin. Anybody who has been gassed up their whole life about something usually builds up a superiority complex around whatever that thing is. It could be you having a nice body. It could be you being tall and slim like a model. It could be long hair, loose textured hair. It's so many different things that if you've been gassed up your whole life about it, you can end up having a superiority complex with it. At the end of the day, it really just comes down to the woman and whether or not mentally she know how to separate her privilege and understanding that no matter what it is, it doesn't make her a better woman simply because of her having it. We were all uniquely created, right? Everybody got something to make them uniquely them. And if you've been gassed up about whatever that is, a lot of times, unfortunately, you got a superiority complex based off that thing, right? And a lot of times with women, you get to see the superiority complex come out when you make women upset. A lot of times you don't see women's superiority complex come out until you make them upset. And then that's when you'll get to see it. If she got a nice body and you say something she don't like, she gonna come for your body if she feel like your body don't look as good as hers. If you ain't got as much hair as her and she got long hair, you absolutely get to be bald headed. You got... Uh, a different texture of hair and her hair is loose texture, you absolutely get to be nappy headed. Whatever it is that she's been gassed up about that she feel like make her a better woman for having it, if you make her mad enough, you'll get to see how she really feel, right? I give some light-skinned women a side eye when they make content making it seem like they denouncing, you know, colorism and that they don't entertain colorist men. You be eating it up offline. I'm, I'm pretty sure you be eating it up offline. Is that all light-skinned women? No, I'm sure there are some that are disgusted by colorism. But for the most part, a lot of them absolutely do not have the issues with it that they pretend to have online. Because when men are somewhere gassing them up and telling them that they the better woman, that they look better, he only talked to girls that look like her, she be eating it up, right? So I definitely give some light-skinned women a side eye in these conversations, but I just want us to be honest. That is not only a light-skinned woman privilege issue. It's a any type of privilege issue that you've internalized and make you think that you're a better caliber woman because of it. I mean, she's valid. Points were made. Do we need to change this segment to points were made? Okay, because the way that the girls are eating okay no crumbs left a personal experience of mine i had a guy tell me one time we should make babies because i want my babies to be light skinned with curly hair like you see immediately don't <laughs> i am immediately turned the hell off absolutely not okay i realized while editing this video that because i have such a diverse audience who watches my content it will be necessary to elaborate on why this statement is so controversial. The point being that this statement was rooted in colorism. And if you're new to this topic, colorism can be defined as prejudice or discrimination against individuals with a dark skin tone. So basically it was not okay for him to uplift one skin tone over another. That's it, that is all. Now let's carry on. Again, homie, that is not the flex that you think it is. You think that's supposed to be a compliment? I'm supposed to take that as, oh my gosh, you thinks I'm pretty. No, I think I'm pretty because I know that my spirit is pure. I know that my intentions are always going to be pure with someone. I know that I'm not out here trying to get my lick back at people. Like to me, that is what makes a person attractive. Looks come a dime a dozen. Like there are so many conventionally attractive people out here. 
And let's be honest, I say conventionally because beauty is in the eye of the beholder, is it not? And I don't know if you guys keep up with Megan James, but she has a podcast where she interviewed a rapper by the name of Monaleo. And her podcast recently went viral because it had a moment where she was talking to Monaleo about colorism in the rap industry. Let's check it out. Wait, so this is a very important question because I be battling people with this question all the time. Okay. Do you believe in colorism and do you feel like it's easier as a uh, female rapper to like make it big when you're like of a lighter complexion? Believe in colorism. Colorism is very real. It's yeah. a very real thing. It's definitely easier for a woman with a lighter complexion to blow up quicker than a dark skinned woman. For sure. But like, why? Cause like, I be getting into it, people, right? I used to get made up fun of at school because I wasn't black enough. Bitches used to try to cut my hair. Like, people be thinking that like, light-skinned girls don't go through colorism. We go through colorism just, I don't know if it's like as bad as like, well, it's not like girls. Well, who, it's not colorism. I don't even know where to start with this clip, okay? Because on one hand, the fact that you asked her a question, she answered your question, and you had to kind of belittle her experience by speaking about your own experience. It almost comes off in a way where it makes you think she could possibly feel like, oh, well, it's not as bad as what I've been through, because I've been through this. Like that's the, the ink that it gives off, you know? And not to say that those were Megan's intentions, because I don't think that that was, but I do feel like, you know, when somebody in this particular instance answers your question, especially based off of their experience, because let's be honest, you asked about her personal experience. It had nothing to do with you. So the fact that you're asking her a personal question and then rerouting it back to yourself, mm, I'm just gonna leave that there. I know you know somebody. Comment down below if you know somebody that does that. Like, I know so many people who they'll be sitting here asking me about, oh, well, how was your day? Or how was this? How was that that you did? And I'm telling them, and like, oh, yes. And I did something like that too. And da 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 da. Okay, I'm sorry. Were you wanting to know about me? Or was this really just a gateway so that we could talk about you? I'm confused. So yeah, sorry Megan, that was definitely not colorism that you experienced. Prejudice, but not colorism. And here's why. I feel sick as hell, but I saw this post that said light skins can't experience colorism. And all of my shares that I saw, people were saying, yes we can. And I'm here to tell you that I used to be a part of the community that thought we could. I was like, um having a prejudice against someone because of their skin tone and only their skin tone. Yeah, that's happened to me before. I've had people say stuff wrong, derogatory, disrespectful, hurtful to me because I was light skinned. Make judgments and assumptions of my character based off my skin tone alone. Make judgments about my intelligence based off my skin tone alone. How amicable and friendly I was based off of my skin tone alone. But then I got educated. Baby, everything I just said was prejudice. There's words for a reason. And when we start changing out words for another, making the assumption that these words are interchangeable, we start fucking up. We have separate names for these things for a reason. There's a difference, an obvious and large difference between prejudice alone and colorism. There's a difference between racism and prejudice. That's why we have separate names for them. And she would not be wrong either because I think a lot of times people, again, it just goes back to ignorance because people will interchange words or just use words for even shock value or, you know, because they don't really know how to fully articulate themselves. Um, and that's no shade, okay? Because half the time y'all know watching these videos from me that I don't really know how to articulate myself half the time either. That doesn't mean that you can't be willing to grow as a person because and we talked about this on my channel before like the purpose of life is to be better than you were yesterday growing elevating right so it just baffles me that some people just don't get it like it's not clicking words do matter about a month ago i did a video about bullying so i'm gonna leave it linked up here in the cards for you guys to check that out because that's exactly what megan james was describing it's bullying Hun, it's not 
colorism, it's just bullying. That's a whole separate issue to talk about. So if you have not already, make sure that you check out that video. The conversation around colorism is very nuanced though, but in the words of old school Kanye, okay? It don't matter if you in a Benz cause you still a ninja in a coop. Take it how it resonates, but I'm gonna leave you with one last video. Consider it food for thought. My daddy always told me it was two types of light-skinned people. He said that it was light-skinned people who was in the house, poisoning Massa so that the rest of the slaves could get away. And then it was light-skinned people that was in the house warning Massa that the slaves was planning to leave. So how do you feel about today's topic? Do you see being light-skinned as some sort of prize or some sort of relevant personality trait? Hopefully by now it's clear that being light-skinned isn't the flex that you think it is. Share your opinions down below on this topic. You know I love to chat with you guys in the comments because I respond to literally every comment. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, but don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. I hope to see you in my next one.